Hi guys, welcome back to another recipe episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy and today we are making something very quick and very easy. I've cooked all week and I want to do something simple today and I think this fits the bill. We are doing a pizza, pepperoni pizza slash pasta um, casserole type dish. It is going to be really super good and what I like about this recipe is that you can interchange any of the ingredients that you want to um, make it, you know, exact. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. What you're going to do is um, you want to bring a pan up to um, with what in the hell is wrong with me today? Is it me? It's her. Should I you should leave. No. Okay, what I want you to do is go ahead and fill a um, nice sized pot with boil with water to bring to a boil. And we are going to use three different um, types of sauces today, or, or three um, different cans of tomato type based products. One is I'm using this Hunt's um, garlic and herb pasta sauce. I'm twisted today. I am going to use some tomato puree and a can of the um, petite diced tomatoes. Now, as you notice over here, I've already got my pot uh, coming to a boil. And then, what I want you to do is, and just in like a little um, saucepan, I want you to add your pasta sauce. Mm, that smells good. Your pureed tomatoes. And your can of petite diced tomatoes. Now you may need to add a little bit of water to this, um, and which I probably will add about a half a cup because I don't really want it to be super thick. But I'm going to turn my um, stove top on about medium, medium high to get that going. And to this, you're going to add just a couple, um, maybe um, you know, a tablespoon, two tablespoons of the Italian seasoning. And you're also going to add one bay leaf. And this is just going to cook for just a little bit while your pasta is cooking. If you wanted to use just all pasta sauce or maybe a combination of the uh, pasta sauce and pizza sauce, you could certainly do that. But um, I like to kind of make my own. Use some garlic salt or powder, whatever you have on hand. And a little bit of oregano. This is going to be so delicious. Now, we're just going to give that a stir. And we're going to bring this up to a boil. And we're going to let it cook while we are cooking our pasta. My water is already boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. Today, I'm using just the thin spaghetti. And you do not want to cook it um, all the way done. You just want to cook it till it's like al dente. Maybe a little bit less than al dente, because this is going to go in the oven as well. So I'm going to get my pasta on. Um, I'm going to get my... Um, sauce, bring that up to a boil, and then I'm just going to let it cook for just a few minutes. Then we're going to remove the bay leaf, we're going to set it back, and then we're going to throw this whole dish together. Let me show you what I'm putting in mine today. I've got plenty of uh, garlic here. I've got some um, mushrooms, delicious mushrooms, and some onions. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in this sauce right here to get it going. Now I'm doing half of mine pepperoni and half um, mushroom and onion for me because that's what I like. Now, we're going to let this come to a boil. Let it cook for a few minutes. Like I said, I'm going to get my pasta on and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the mushroom and onions. All right, I've got my pasta cooked and drained. Um, I cooked it to slightly less than al dente because it's gonna continue to bake in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I've got my oven set on 400 degrees and you wanna preheat that. Um, I'm gonna just taste my sauce for um, flavor. Just to make sure that I don't need to add anything extra before I, um, Stick it to the back of the stove to cool a little bit. You know what? It does need a little bit more garlic powder. Yes, I love garlic. But you have to remember that we added, um, we added uh, tomato puree and um, 
the regular tomatoes, which none of those have the, um, the garlic or any of the Italian seasoning there. I'm going to put a little bit more of Italian seasoning. And we're going to give that a stir. And then I'm going to taste it again. I'm going to fish my bay leaf out of there. If I can find it, there it is. But like I said, you don't have to do all this. If you just want to do um, just straight up pasta sauce, you know, you're welcome to do that. But, mm, nothing more easier than pasta sauce to make. It is so quick and easy to make and it's absolutely delicious. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to set this back to the back of the stove here and we're going to get started on our mushrooms. All right, in my pan. In my pan here, I've got some olive oil, or some butter, excuse me. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil as well. I like to um, combine both of those when I'm do, doing a um, pasta dish. And this is a pasta dish. Pasta slash pizza dish, right? Let's fix the camera a little bit there. And then we're going to go ahead and get our mushrooms and onions kind of stir fried together and our garlic. Look at that. We're going to put all these in the pan. And we're just going to saute just till they have a little bit of color. Develop a little bit of color. Um, your onions will get um, a nice, um, almost clear color, translucent. And your mushrooms will shrink up as well. Wow. And I also added the garlic to that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of um, salt to this to draw out the, the moisture from the mushrooms. And we're going to do a little black pepper. Like I said, we're just going to saute these up just until they um, develop a little bit of color, become translucent, and they're nice and fragrant. Oh, did you see that onion jump out there? Look at that. They've shrunk nicely in size. They've turned a nice brown color, and the onion is nice and translucent. Whoa. Um, I've got my oven preheated on 400. Let me show you what else we're going to be using with this. We're going to use some mozzarella cheese and some of the Parmesan Romano Asiago cheese. Now, you don't have to use all the fancy cheese if you don't like, but I like to use it um, just because I'm special like that. And I gotta have a bite of spaghetti. Mmm, that is perfect, 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 perfect. Now, what you're gonna do, oh my gosh, the sauce is so heavy. We're gonna combine the sauce with the spaghetti. Because this is going to be, like I said, like a casserole type dish. One more taste again, just to ensure that it is seasoned well. Mmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And you're just going to pour your sauce right in with your spaghetti. Now we might not use all of this. Oh, look what a mess I made. I'm going to have to wipe that pan off. Like I said, you might not you have to use all this, but hey, there you have some pasta sauce waiting and ready for you for the next time you decide that you want to throw just a little simple um, one-person pasta dish together. I like to take mine in a little bit wet. That way, because when you add the cheese and everything onto it, then it's, it doesn't dry it out. I like it to still be a little moist inside after it bakes. So you know what? We're going to add a little bit more of the sauce. Perfect. And remember the sauce has the, um, the garlic and the extra Italian seasoning um, and the onion uh, powder. It's got all the deliciousness in there. Then we got our big casserole dish here and then we're going to just attempt to pour pasta in there because it's quite heavy. Now you see what I mean by being nice and uh, saucy. I like it nice and saucy. I'm just going to kind of spread that about. Oh, this is going to be so good. And you know what? Any leftovers, if there is any leftovers, uh, maybe some of my work family will get some. But see how this, the little pieces of tomato, that's why I like to make my sauce with that petite diced tomatoes. Because I like the little pieces of tomatoes um, kind of dancing around in anything that I make. And you know what? We're going to add a little bit more sauce to this. 
This is gonna bake, like I said, right in the oven. And I like mine saucy. I'm just putting it all in there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you know what? Your kids are absolutely going to love this. And if you don't have kids, it doesn't matter. You're going to love this. Now, since my husband is not a fan of mushrooms, I'm not going to add them all over. I'm just going to add it on my half of the casserole. But yeah, he is not a fan of mushrooms, so I just wanted the, um, the mushrooms and onions on, you know, just a portion of this. And that's what I said. You can change this up either way. Just like a pizza, uh, if you want to do half pepperoni and sausage, half um, mushroom and onions, you know, anything that you like on your pizza, you can put it right there on your, um, you know, this casserole here. I'm going to load mine up because that's exactly what I like. I like it. I want to be able to taste all that goodness. Look at that. Of course, it'd help if I had a bigger spoon. I'm not going to put it all on there because, you know, he likes to eat stuff leftovers. It's cold, especially just like this. Look at that. Now, the trick is to remember what side I put those on. Huh? And then we're going to add our cheeses. Guys, look how pretty that is already. Look how pretty. I'm just going to go right over top. Oh, my God. We're going to do this with both the cheeses. And then we're going to top it with some pepperoni. How easy is that? I'm going to make some homemade um, garlic bread. Which I just make out of toast. I'm sure if you watch my vlogs, um, you've seen um, where I've already made that. I'm dropping it on the floor. Let's go a little bit more of the mozzarella. That's alright. My dogs are cleaning up. You can use any type of pepperoni you'd like to use. You could use the um, the turkey pepperoni if you'd like. If you'd like to make it slightly a little bit healthier. But you know what? You only live once, friends, you know. I'm going to continue to get these pepperonis put in place. I'm going to pop this in a 400 degree oven for about 20-25 minutes until it's nice and bubbly and golden brown. And then I will meet you back here when it's done. All right, guys, I want you to look at my absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, pizza bait, pizza pasta bait. It looks absolutely phenomenal. It was in the oven for about 30 minutes on 400. Look how nice and beautiful and golden brown it is. The pepperonis have crisped up. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, I am not digging into this because I'm going to let it rest for about um, 10 to 15 minutes before I cut it. Look at it back there on the stove, nice and crisp, waiting patiently for my garlic bread to come out of the oven. I certainly hope you guys make this recipe, make it this weekend for your family, make it for your kids. They're going to love it. You're going to love it. Be sure to interchange some of the ingredients if that's what you'd like to do. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it, what you change the ingredients up, um, um, you know, that you like for your favorite pizza. This is going to be phenomenal. I know you're going to like it. You know I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.